This is Kevin Woodbury and this is part two of testing your lens and camera combination. One thing to keep in mind, your lens may react differently depending on the body that it's attached to. So if you have multiple bodies, you may want to do this for each camera. If you recall, this is the USAF chart I had you shoot or, or actually, I'm sorry, print. Um, and to refresh your memory, we had you print it and mount it, um, put it on a wall and frame it so that it filled the frame made sure the camera was level and parallel, made sure it was well lit, uh, made sure the autofocus and image stabilization was off, had to use live view to focus as tight as you could, and then shoot at um, a focal length using f4 all the way up to 22. And this is the resulting chart. Now I'd have you first zoom in um, in terms of reading that chart. So pull up each image, zoom in, and look for ghosting around the edges of the, of the bars. If it's clean and sharp, then you know your lens is good at that focal length f-stop combination. But if you go into the center of the chart where you have those small bars, you want to look for differentiation between the, the bars. If they bleed into each other, then you know your lens is soft. But if they're clearly differentiated, then you, you know you've uh, got a good lens at that particular f-stop and focal length. I want to emphasize that. And so you you pull up your um, images um, for every shot that you took and use your log and you'll start to see that lenses become sharp uh, at a particular focal length, stay sharp um, from f-stop to f-stop, but eventually you may get a little softer. And a good example of that is as you get closer to f-22, you may find some of your lenses get a little softer on the edges of those bars. So by analyzing this, you can determine uh, the range of f-stops that will give you good sharp images, those that won't, and uh, again, it changes by focal length. So make sure that you analyze each focal length and each f-stop. And that's it. Um, it's as simple as that. Uh, hopefully this makes some sense. If not, write me or call me, but write me at kmcw53 uh, at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to answer your questions. If you need to talk with me, I can give you my uh, phone number at that time. So take care. Bye-bye.